Hello, I am Goose, and last night something rather interesting happened. Smash Bros got another anime sword fight. Yep, that's right. That Sephiroth guy from Final Fantasy VII is joining Smash Bros, and his trailer was shown off at the Game Awards last night. If you didn't know, or don't know who Sephiroth is, you've probably been living under a rock. To summarize, he's just Cloud's bad guy, but I don't really need to say anything more. Every pretty much everyone knows he's iconic. Although I will say, I was not very excited about this at first, mostly because I was believing rumors about, what, Fortnite and Crash Bandicoot and whatnot, and I got my hopes up. But after I accepted that, you know, there are still like three slots left, Sephiroth grew on me. I'm kind of, uh, excited for him. That just means I have to wait for Crash a little bit longer. Also, one quick little thing. Do you know how people have, like, fake rules they put on Sakurai? They think that he actually follows? Like how people thought that spirits couldn't become fighters and then we got Min Min. That sort of thing. Well, that kind of broke a rule for me with Sephiroth. I always thought that if a character from a third-party franchise was already represented, that there wouldn't be another third-party from that franchise's DLC. It kind of felt strange to do that, at least to me, but, uh, I mean, he's a welcome addition. Now, first things first, I'm gonna talk about the trailer. First I saw this and I was like, wow, this looks really good. Holy cow. Then I saw this and I was like, oh, hey, Banjo. Then I saw this and I was like, uh-oh. Then I heard, dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, and I was like, oh! And then I saw this and I was like, oh! And then I saw this and I was like, ooh! And then I saw this and I was like, oh no! And then I saw this and I was like, oh, that's sick! And then I saw this and I was like, what? And then I saw this and I was like, oh no! And then I saw this and I was like, wow, this looks really good! And then I saw this and I was like, oh! But then I went, wait a second. Nice. Then I saw this and I was like, uh oh! Again. But uh, yeah, the trailer was really good. Probably one of the most, like, I don't want to use the term hype, but I was pretty excited when I saw this trailer, especially when that music started playing. Definitely solidified that he's totally bonkers baddie, and I'm very excited to have him in the game, eventually. Also, the stage looks really good. I really like how this stage looks. It kind of reminds me of Final Destination in a way. I didn't do much research, but um, apparently people are saying that it's like the Genova boss fight. Whatever that means. People are speculating that it's going to be in phases like the Garag Mach Monastery or something. But we'll have to see. Moving on, uh, before I talk about the moveset, uh, I'm going to look at his render real quick. And uh, he looks really good. Like, I, I know I've said this before in the video already, but he looks good. Like, I really like these. Most of his alternate costumes kind of, like, fit into the same bill as Clouds, where they hardly change his colors at all, which is kind of a shame. I wish they diversified him a little more. Also... Nice. Okay, now moving on to the moveset. Now, I'm not 100% on all of these, but I think they're pretty good guesses, so I'm just gonna belt them off. In order, we have the forward tilt, the forward smash, the forward air that impales people, and the stage. A possible counter and reflector down B, an up air that's just conveniently timed with this stage splitting in half. Some kind of neutral special that just clings onto people and explodes when they try to attack. This up smash that I know is going to annoy literally everyone that plays this game. And the down air, which was displayed in this cruel, cruel reference. Okay, now here's the interesting part. So he does the wing thing, and uh, we see something that looks like either a forward smash or a forward tilt, but he already did both of those earlier. So what I'm guessing he's like a stance change character, possibly? Maybe the wing stance change thing is linked to him pressing B while shielding, which makes sense, I guess. But um, yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, we see, we see the wing version of the forward smash and F tilt, and possibly a- Up special. Whatever this thing that carries people across the stage is, this thing's probably gonna kill people at like 30. Then we see what looks like the fully charged neutral special, and a glimpse of his final smash. We also get to see a, a cloud final smash, but it's not the one that's in the game. So either it's gonna be a unique final smash against Sephiroth, or it's just getting changed entirely. I'm gonna guess it's the former. Sephiroth looks like he's gonna be kind of slow, but he's gonna have ridiculous range. Like, the most annoying sword fighter in the game. But you know, he's kinda unique, he's got the counter reflector thing, he's got the... He's got the projectile, he's got the, you know... We never saw his side special, though. Or at least I don't think. Which is strange, but whatever. We'll see it when the presentation shows up in the 17th, I guess. I'm glad Square Enix decided that Final Fantasy VII deserves some representation in Smash, other than two spirits and two songs. Or maybe they just wanted to advertise the remake. Hmm. Now, as for the presentation on the 17th, what kind of other stuff are they gonna reveal? They're probably gonna have a Tifa costume for the Mii Brawler, and a Barrett costume for the Mii Gunner, and they're probably gonna bring back that Chocobo hat. But there is one that I think longtime fans are gonna be dreading. Gino. I feel like this is the perfect time to bring Gino's Mii Fighter costume back. 
but I don't think they're gonna bring back that stinky costume from Smash 4. I think they're gonna give it the same treatment they gave to Sans, Cuphead, and Vault Boy, where they're gonna make him look almost exactly like Geno, and probably give a remix of one of the Super Mario RPG songs, too. Now, as for a release date, I'm just gonna make an educated guess. Looking at how they did Min Min and Steve, how they released a week after their presentation, I'm gonna guess Christmas Eve. This video isn't exactly scripted, uh, I didn't have much time to write it since I wanted to get it out as fast as possible. I just wanted to talk about new Smash stuff. Also, just because Sakurai is being good to us with these new characters doesn't mean that Nintendo is being better. They've still done some dumb dumb stuff recently, and uh, we can't just give them a free pass just because new Smash Bros stuff came out. But uh, yeah, um, that's about it I think. So, my name is Goose, thank you very much for watching. Now go away!